guys. It's the weekend before Christmas, so you know what that means. The mall was insane, and so was it on the road. Um, driving was um, pretty crazy. On the road, it was packed. Everyone's doing their last-minute Christmas shopping and trying to get it in for... Um, I have to go to work on the on the weekdays, but me, not for me, because I took my um, vacation, so um, I had this time off, and it's really fun because um, also I'm looking um, for a new job during this time because I'm just like really kind of fed up with um, being at the same place for three years, really not making any real friends, you know, I know that work isn't all about making friends but I just felt like it really wasn't getting any more like any more money there I could make more money else places elsewhere so um, that's what I'm doing on my vacation time but I am having a lot of fun shopping and, and spending time with um, my boyfriend when he's home so let's just get to the wrapping paper that I was talking about um, I found some really good wrapping paper I have the dollar store um, of princesses. So here's one of Ariel. And I'm really excited about this because Disney is my thing. Um, Princess is is like the ultimate wrapping paper. So here's one of all the girls. And there's not a lot of paper in these. But I mean it could probably wrap a good... I don't know, seven gifts, I'd probably say. So, you know, that makes it worth it, you know, for a dollar. And then we have Miss Tink herself. What a good find at the dollar store. They had lots more. I just got four because I'm trying to limit myself. I have other wrapping papers, and I've pretty much already wrapped all of our friend, our family and friends gifts so um, I didn't want to just have these for Bobby's gifts because I don't want his gifts to all be like princess themed you know so that's why I didn't get more but it was a really good deal the princess the Disney theme for a dollar so this is my wall of jewelry um, just the stuff that doesn't fit in my jewelry box and my um, headbands. Ooh, some are missing. Where are they? I don't know where they are. Um, so that's my wall of jewelry. Life is a journey, not a destination. And that's so true. Um, this little guy's going on a journey. I love this flamingo. <laughs> and this punch buggy. It's so cute. And, um, it's just so cute. It reminds me of when I was a kid, me and my mom. We would always play this game whenever we'd see the punch buggies. You know, we would punch the other one in the arm and say no punch backs, and you could say the color. Does anyone still do that? <laughs> we used to always play that game when I was a kid. I don't know why we ever stopped. <laughs> but, here are my shoes. Um, I love heels. I hardly ever, ever, ever get to go out and wear them because every time I end up getting dressed, I still wear like a flat or a sneaker or a boot because I just, I don't know, I'm just not used to wearing the heels, but that's something that I need to start doing. That's going to be a res res uh, New Year's resolution to start wearing heels. I think that's a really, really good one. So here's my little martini. And here are some purses and my Disney collection. I need more pieces. <laughs> I can't ever get enough Disney. I always need more. It's some really pretty pieces though. And here is my um, holiday jewelry. I got this for a friend, a matching one for a friend. Um, this is 
the jewelry that you wait all year long to wear. And I have red matching ones. I just got these. And I have them in red. And I also have my snowflakes on. Funny thing about these are, these are the fake earrings. Which I didn't know that they were um, clip-ons <laughs> when I bought them. They were in a little box. If I knew that, then I probably wouldn't have bought them. But they're still really cute. And luckily they're not very um, tight. So they don't really hurt or anything. And you really can't tell unless you look close. But that is um, <laughs> kind of funny. So when you buy earrings, make sure that they're actually earrings and not clip-ons. Like I did. I bought clip-ons. <laughs> and here's my jewelry box. My orchid. My baby just bought that from me a couple weeks ago. I love these things. They just remind me of just like, I don't know, mystical forest or something. I don't know. Fairies. I'm just in like fairyland. Everything reminds me of like enchanted or like, I don't know. I just, I like being around things like that remind me of um, fairy tales and stuff like that. So here's all my... Um, perfumes and after Christmas I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot more um, Victoria's Secret spray bottles it's my favorite to get the um, deal um, I think it's like five for 35 really I love that I like seriously love going to Victoria's Secret and getting a crap load um, crap load. Um, a, a ton of um, body soaps and, and body sprays and stuff for $35 and they're supposed to be $12 a piece I think that's a good deal so I love doing that um, not only am I going shopping for some friends tomorrow um, I'm also gonna get some for myself and I know my boyfriend is gonna get me some perfume as well because that's on my wish list so he's really good about um, taking the list in consideration when he's buying my gifts. He's a really good gift picker because he always sticks to what I say I want so he's really good about that and um, I have no complaints. Marilyn, today I did watch a documentary about Marilyn and Jean Harlow while I was getting ready this morning and um, that was really interesting. I love Marilyn. I'm a huge fan. Of course, everyone is, but I mean, I really do like her, and um, it's just kind of cool to see who her idol was, and her idol was Jean Harlow, so it was just kind of um, interesting, you know, to see who someone I look up to, who they looked up to, and um, I just look up to Marilyn because you know, she turned her whole life around. She she went from nothing to pretty much just everything. So, good for her. I mean, she died young, but she never got old and she never, you know, wilted or lost her prime, so to say. So, I mean, I guess she did because she was um, a drug addict. So, but you know what I'm saying. All the Maryland fans know what I'm saying anyway. And <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. So, <laughs> just kidding. So I did like the department stores do, and I hung some bulbs this year, and I'm so happy about the way they came out. It looks awesome. I also hung some, um, what are those things called? Icicles. And there's my... I'm going to make another video on New Year's Eve, and it's going to show the bedroom and um, and what's going on in there. Our bedroom is really pretty. We have another Christmas tree in there and also another lit up palm tree in there, and it just looks really good, and it looks really, um, just really pretty. So um, on Christmas Eve, I'm going to make another video, and it's going to show the whole house and 
our bedroom. So um, if you're interested, um, look out for that video on Christmas Eve. Probably like a couple days after Christmas, I'll put it up. So here is something really sweet. Um, we had a friend, Tracy, came over today and she delivered some of those um, really cute chocolate covered cherries that you make look like um, a little mouse. And I will show you, but I got into them and they're unrecognizable because I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the peanuts and I don't like the Hershey's Kiss, but I did like the fudge that was in the box and I did like the outside chocolate around the um, cherries. So. I, I saved I saved the other stuff for Bobby, <laughs> but that was really good. So thanks, Tracy. That was really sweet of you. I always love getting stuff like that, little gifts and stuff, just to let you know that you're being thought of. And that's really what Christmas is all about, isn't it? You know, giving the gift of the smile. So that's definitely something that made my morning this morning. I had um, <laughs> it was so funny. I was in my robe. And I actually had my toothbrush in my mouth and, and toothpaste, mouth full of toothpaste. And that's how I answered the door. And that's how I got my chocolate. It was so, so cute. And here's our tree, which I'm very proud of. Last year it was a huge tree and it was a real tree. We just didn't want all the pine needles this year. So we end up still having them because I made a huge wreath made out of real tree. And that's in our bedroom. I hung up over the bed. So our room also smells like um, Christmas tree, and it smells so good. So these gifts are just really, all these gifts are for family and friends. And tomorrow we are doing our Christmas shopping for each other. So I think we're going to be really happy on Christmas morning. And so are our family and our friends because we pretty much went all out this year. And there's going to be a lot more stuff to wrap tomorrow. So um, maybe I'll do a little haul showing um, the things that buy tomorrow. It's too bad I didn't before all these things were wrapped, but I got a lot of good stuff. So maybe I'll take a video. Hmm. I don't know. But here is my little snowman collection. And this thing is really cool because it's one of those musical ones. And that is just so cute. I got that for like nothing. Literally, I probably paid $8 for that. Um, little Miss Marilyn Snow Lady. I love her. She's sparkly. You can't really tell in the video, but she is sparkly. She's so cute. And then we have Elsa. And that is so cool. I just got this yesterday. Um, <laughs> I got this at the dollar store. So if you have the local dollar store, go to it because they have some really cool stuff. Um, I love these wall posters. I get them for like, I got it for Halloween and I just went back and I got one for uh, Christmas. So the dollar store has some really cool wall stuff and they do have really cute wrapping paper. Oh, this is really cool. I just got this guy, Santa Claus and Co. So cute. Um, and then her best friend, Olaf. Then I also got this hat at the dollar store. And I have a matching stocking, which I'm actually making it um, for my boyfriend's little girl, Skylar. So I'm going to put her name on it and bedazzle it and probably put some faux fur and um, then I'll give it to her and it'll be a really nice um, stocking that she'll keep with us at our house and it'll just be like a tradition you know but um, we all have stockings and she didn't the kids didn't so that's I mean I think the stockings are really for the kids right <laughs> but anyway I just love Christmas don't you? Oh, don't mind my laundry. It's laundry day. <laughs> I have a lot of laundry I have to do still. So that's only the half of it. Don't you love the first um, five minutes all your things are clean? And then, then you have something dirty within like ten minutes. 
there's dirty laundry. I know, I go through laundry really, really fast. And it sucks because we don't have a washer and dryer. So we do have to go to the laundry mat. So that is not fun. And um, that's probably what we'll have to do the day after tomorrow. I'm on my vacation time. I don't know if I said that, but I am. I took um, two weeks paid vacation. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking my vacation time and being paid for it. So that's really nice. But I am looking for another job because um, I just feel like I can um, get paid more money somewhere else. So that's what I'm doing um, as well. I went to two different places today and um, I'm going tomorrow back. So um, wish me luck and um, I'll post another video soon after New Year's of our New Year's night and um, love you guys and Merry Christmas and to all a good night and I'll see you next time.